Um, right, now we're going to talk about a little bit about gravity. Um, I think we all know what gravity is, pretty simply speaking, really. It's just the attractive force within the universe. It's the reason, well, it's described classically speaking, it's the reason why we, we don't float off into space, basically. Um, space isn't zero gravity, it's reduced gravity. Um, but gravity is really simple to understand, you see. I mean, obviously, it's invented by Sir Isaac Newton, um, who lived at Woolstorp Abbey, which is fairly near me, out of Grantham Way. Uh, I've actually been to Woolstorp as well, it's an interesting place. Um, there's a few sort of demonstrations and stuff there. I've, I've looked at the, the room where it's supposed to have split light into its prism and stuff. Um, well, I say into its prism, through a prism, into its um, constituent parts, and then back through a prism, which makes it into white light again. Blah, blah, blah. But basically, gravity is the most important thing that Newton invented, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the most famous thing anyway, um, besides calculus and stuff. Um, so gravity, what, I mean, what is gravity? It's one of the four fundamental forces, which I've made a video about, a short video about before. The four fundamental forces are strong and weak nuclear forces, electromagnetic interaction, and gravity. Um, to, to make a theory of, of everything, we need to unify, unify all these forces, basically. It's really, really simple. We've just got to explain them all, okay? Uh, but this is about gravity. So gravity is the attractive force within the universe. Um, it's the reason that everything containing matter is thought to attract everything else containing matter. Uh, I don't think the amount of gravity, which is a relative definition, um, is particularly important in this because this is a sort of what is gravity in general um, video at the moment. So just get me talking about gravity and stuff. But like I say, gravity is an attractive force observed without its opposite and neutral potentials. It's just the attractive part of the force. The three forces, attractive, repulsive and neutral. Okay? Right, so when we're talking about gravity, the problem is with gravity, people only see it as an attractive force. They don't, I don't think they, they tend to realise that uh, there's a theoretical potential for opposite and neutral properties to gravity, you see. There's, an, there's a, a repulsion and a neutrality within the three forces that make up the universe, or, you know, whatever we call the universe and all this stuff. So gravity, is simply speaking, is an attractive force observed without its opposite and neutral potentials. Extremely simple. We're only seeing one of three possible forces when we talk about gravity. It doesn't mean it's not interesting. It doesn't mean it's not um, a fundamental sort of property, really. But it's important not to forget not to forget that there's also the opposite to gravity plus neutral. If we really, really want to explain gravity fundamentally, that's that's what it comes down to. Um, it's like the, the strong weak nuclear forces, basically. The, the weak nuclear force is like the, the repulsive force, if you, if, if you look at it that way. Um, and the strong nuclear force is the attractive force, which is, is the same as gravity. Um, it's just, like I say, it's really, really simple. It's attractive, repulsive, or neutral, the three forces within the universe. That's, it's as simple as that. It really, really is as simple as that. I mean, gravity, like I say, it's just an attractive force. Observe without its two opposites. It's really, really, really simple to explain. That's that's what this is what I think anyway. Uh, about gravity, uh, I've been interested in gravity for a long, long, long time. Really, um, it's one of the first forces I've ever discovered. I suppose it's the most famous force in the universe, isn't it? Gravity. Everybody knows about it. Oh, this is why things fall to Earth. You know, but some things don't fall to Earth. Do you? some things take off? If you've got a helium balloon, it doesn't fall to the ground, does it? You know, it goes off. It's repulsive. Um, it's the opposite to gravity, it's stronger than the pull of gravity, we can measure the pull of gravity on the earth and all, blah blah blah, newtons and things. But I mean, it's not 100%, it's not always attractive, it's possible, it's, a, it's possible to be repulsive or neutral as well, because it's just, it's just a name for one of the three fundamental forces within the universe, like I say, and that's why I think about gravity pretty much anyway. Um, this is just a really short introductory video to, to me talking about gravity. Um, just to, like I say, trying to get myself talking on camera, keep myself talking on camera too, you know, um, and trying to explain a few things that I've been thinking about really, um, and that's it for gravity, okay.